I'm Russ Jones. Welcome back to Smoky Ribs, Barbecue and Southern Cuisine. Today is episode four of our Game On series. Today we're doing another menu item from a famous stadium. We're talking about Minute Maid Park in Houston, Texas, far of the Houston Astros. We're going to be doing a barbecue stuffed baked potato. This is going to be good. Hope you stick around for it. We are right here in Biloxi, Mississippi. We have our own minor league team here. They play when they're at home at the MGM Park. And we was riding by there the other night and um, all the lights are lit up. You could hear the game going on. And man, it just really got me wanting to go to a baseball game. But I hope this video gets you in the mood to cook up something good at your tailgating party, your backyard party, your block party, whatever. So let's go ahead and get started. Let me show you how it's done. All right, let me bring you up to speed where I'm at right now. Earlier, I took a pork butt, seven pound pork butt. I applied my favorite rub, used mustard as a binder. And from there, we took it out here to the Weber grill using the snake method once again. Snake method is perfect for a low and slow. And if you look down here, I'll show you where we're at. Right now, we're developing a really good looking bark. And about every 40, 45 minutes, I've been coming out here and spritzing this. This is apple juice bourbon and just a little bit of apple cider vinegar. It's gonna make this really good. All right, like I said, we're not done yet. We're about 173 degrees. I just checked it a few minutes ago. We're gonna put the lid on, and at 200 degrees, we're gonna pull it. All right, we've been going just a little bit longer, and what I've gotta do now is interrupt this for just one second to place on some big baked potatoes. All I've done to these potatoes is rub them in vegetable oil. That's all I've done. That's all you got to do. By the way, when you wrap a potato up in aluminum foil, you are not baking that potato. You are actually steaming it. So we're going to go ahead and put the lid back on this. We're going to let this go to these potatoes are tender. We might give them a flip at some point, but I'll bring you back. All right, our baked potatoes are baked. They are fully cooked. Just going to remove these into a pan. My pulled pork is done. Getting ready to pull it off as well. I'll meet you indoors and we're going to shred this pork. All right, so here we go. We're going to take these mashed potatoes that we removed from the baked potatoes and we're just going to restuff them. This is also known as twice baked potatoes. Now keep in mind, I've never tried the uh, barbecue stuff baked potatoes there in Houston. So I don't know exactly how they do it, just like all these other game on videos I'm doing, but I'm just doing my rendition the way I think I would like it. And from there, we're gonna add on some pulled pork. Make sure you get some of that bark in there. That's where all the flavor is at. And I do have a lot of it. This pork butt turned out really good. It's nice and moist. It's had a perfect bark all the way around it. Now take your barbecue sauce, your favorite barbecue sauce, and just drizzle it on there. Just like so. All right, I'm using Kobe Jack. This is a combination of Monterey Jack and Kobe cheese. We're gonna lay right here on top. And from there, we're gonna to top 
with some fresh jalapenos and some red serrano peppers. These are getting ready to go back out on the grill. And we're going to bake these until they're thoroughly heat reheated and all the cheese is melty. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of these ready. We'll see you at the grill. All right, we got them all put together. We're going to put them back on the Weber. We're going to cover it up. We're going to let all that cheese get good and melty and let everything come back up to heat. Oh, this is looking some kind of good. One more thing to do. A little bit of sour cream. I lied. There's one more thing to do. A little bit of chive. Does that look insane or what? You know it's going to taste good. Doing a taste test on this is really just a waste of time, but I've got to do it. I always do, right? Let's dig in here and see what we got. Well, first thing I got is some cheese and some pulled pork. Mmm. Oh man, so good. Let's go for a jalapeno on this bite. Mmm, man, this pork is outstanding. That is what's standing out more than anything on this. Everything else is a condiment to the pork. That bourbon with the apple juice and apple cider vinegar, man, it gave it a awesome flavor really really good i hope you try this for one of your tailgating parties or backyard parties your block parties whatever i just hope you give it a try really good until next time smoke your ribs